All right, let's talk about the benefits of the Turkish getup. What exactly are you getting from the Turkish getup? Why do you want to do it? I'm going to use lovely Anna over here who loves the Turkish getup and we're going to run through it step by step. Okay, let's set it up. The Turkish getup on your right side. So the bell would be on the right side. So first you would roll into it and bring the weight up. We're going to do it without weight because I'm going to ask her to stop at certain points. It's just a whole lot easier. So she's got the right knee up, the left leg straight and it stays straight. She's going to drive that uh, heel into the ground at some stage. The arm, the left arm is at 45 degrees right there. The right arm is going to bring the weight up and chest press it. So now chest press it. Here we go. So that is the first benefit that you get, especially if you're doing alternating Turkish get-ups, which means you're doing one side and then the other side. You have to put it down and do a chest press. So that's a benefit right there, your chest. It can also be a tricep press, which is closer to the ribs and then up, but you're working the triceps anyway, even if you're doing a chest press, which is out more. So we got the chest that's working for uh, the prime mover there. Uh, when you're pressing it up. Then we got stabilization. That weight wants to go here, 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 and here. So you need to stabilize that weight. So pull that lat down, chest active, shoulders down. So everything is working. The delts are working, the chest is working, the lat's working, other muscles that uh, stabilize the shoulder. It's all working right here. Okay, next thing she's gonna do is gonna come up onto that left elbow. She's going to press that elbow into the ground. She's going to press this right knee, uh, right foot slightly into the ground. So to roll to the side a bit and then come onto the elbow. That's lat work. Let's do it. There we go. Really press tight. Okay, so right there, she had to do a lot of stabilization in that shoulder right here. The lat is working right here. Okay, now she's going to come up onto that hand. That's triceps right there, and still all the work here. Okay, again, still stabilizing here, working the triceps as well. So that's everything you've worked so far. Now we're gonna go down to the lower body a bit. Okay, so next thing she's gonna do is drive that left ankle into the ground and push the hips up nice and high. Here we go, as high as you can. Why high? Just come back. Why high? Because if it's not high, you're going to have trouble getting that leg under. Windshield wiper it under. Okay, so what she's going to do is this shin is going to swipe the floor and that knee comes out, external hip rotation. This ankle comes towards the right ankle and bringing that knee under her. So let's press that hip up again. That's also glute work, a lot of glute work there. Okay, now that uh, knee is under her, now she's gonna come up and slide this leg out. So turn it out, now it's straight. Now she's kneeling. And as you do this, you can always adjust uh, your stance. You can adjust your feet if you need to bring it in a bit. I do a lot of adjustments. She curls the toes up right there. So, now, when she did that windshield wiper, there's a lot of work going on in the hip. So external hip rotations. She's a bit uh, tight in that area, so that's an area to work on. External hip rotation. And you want to slide that uh, shin across the ground. So work is being done in the hips. So benefits for the hips. Now she's going to come up and she's going to do that with this leg. So that is going to be the quads and glutes, hammies, adductors, and even some work in the calves. So come on up. There we go. And all the while, we were still doing the stabilization here. A lot of work is done by the core because that weight is at the top here. And again, there's stabilization happening there. So the rectus spinae is working, the abs are working, obliques are working, everything is working. We always say it's a full body uh, exercise. It doesn't mean they're all prime movers, but they're all working to stabilize. Okay, now she's going to come back down with her left leg, so reverse lunge. Again, that was work done with this right leg because all the weight is on the right. 
you're sliding the left back. Now she's going to windscreen wipe this in and come down to the ground, looking at the weight. So there's external shoulder rotation happening as well. So great work for the shoulders. There's stabilization, there's rotation, etc. Now she's going to kick that left leg out and really push those hips up. Glute work, etc. Down with the hips. Now she's going to slowly lower onto the elbow. That's tricep work and anconeus, which is a little muscle here that's also responsible for elbow extension. Now she's going to lower onto the shoulder blades. That's also lat work. And there we go. You, you're, you can move freely. So there's a lot of benefit to the Turkish get up. So you get your chest, your chest press, your triceps, your shoulders, your hips, your, everything in your legs, your core, it's all working. Now, if you want to learn more about uh, all these kettlebell exercises, make sure you check out the kettlebell exercise encyclopedia. There's over 400 pages, lots of photos, descriptions of how to execute these exercises. And come and join us in the Caveman in the Circle. To learn more about kettlebells, go to cavemantraining.com slash shop for kettlebell courses, DVDs, books, shirts, certifications, etc. beginner to advanced.